Alright, what's up guys? Uh, this is Eric for part 2 of our dubstep uh, series here. Uh, the last time, the last video for dubstep, I... Well, in this one I'm going to show you how to get something like this. So that keeps going now. Uh, the last video I left you all, I left you off with a simple kick snare pattern, which was this. And um, there was a loop that we had as well, but I actually um. I got rid of that loop and I use this one now without any slicing because it's good as it is like this. So put that together and you get it. still sounds kind of simple because of course there's no um, melody. So what I did was I opened up silence. Okay, opened up silence. And there's this ARP called synthy pop which goes something like this yeah it's pretty much the same so I just found I found a note that I like which was uh, E2 and then that was gonna be my intro arp and then here so then um and then of course I have like some down sweep. This one's really bad. I'll probably change that soon. And then I have the drums come in. Then I have the intro come in over here at the ni uh, ninth bar. And then after eight more bars, I have this follow intro. Pretty much that's the same thing as the intro, but here there's these higher notes um, that like give that like a counter, not a counter melody, like a a higher synth melody, which goes like that. And then, so I play that for one bar, and then this bar is the same thing, except it's gonna be four, so one, two, three, four, and then this one here at the end, so it's like. Oh man, sorry, hold on. So you're like, dun dun. Alright. Uh, now the next thing I did was so I got the loop, I got the silence. We did a so kick and snare, you know, simple compression on it, simple EQ on the whole entire kick snare part. Uh, on the silence on my lead, uh, melody, whatever. Another compressor, an EQ8, and Spectrum just there to so I could EQ, uh, EQ, EQ it right. The loop, I haven't done anything to it, but we could, we could add another compressor to it. Let's bring this threshold down a little bit, bring the ratio up a little bit. Bring this output down. Alright, that's good. Uh, the next, some sound effects. So we have, first we have the down sweep. Then we have this rise here. And then we have the long rise. And then I just have two snares after this. Just to go into the lead, uh, go into the drop. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, and then I have this pad of a Nexus. What I did was, um, I started with, uh, 
E over here, and then I just put whatever sounds are good to be honest. Let me see how this sounds by itself. So by itself, it goes like this. And that's it. That's what I have so far. Uh, I have three massive uh, patches. So this one is the like every time one kick, every time a kick hits, it's like like that. Uh, this is a wobble. I think this is a faster wobble. Yeah, and then this is a slower wobble. Um, I'm not really gonna go into how I made those right now. If it's requested enough, I'll put these three uh, K uh, KSD files, the presets, in a file, and then I have the OE sound. Though. I just thought it sounded cool there, so. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for now, what I could show you. Uh, maybe next video I'll get more into this drop, how I actually did it, and I'll go more into these massive, how I made them and stuff. I just wanted to show you the synths, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, thanks for watching.